everyone, George here. I'm at my friend Steve's house and he's maintaining this beautiful Aquascaper 600 that we aquascaped, how long ago was it now, Steve? Six months. Was it six months already? Wow. So you can see the previous videos. I'll leave a link in the description and above on the top right of the screen right now. Uh, I've done a couple of videos on this tank already and you can see the evolution if you do check out those videos and all the technical kind of data and the plants that are being used. But this video is just a quick kind of maintenance video and an update and you can just see how beautiful it's looking. Check out this Ricardia camadrifolia. This is the moss kind of plant. It's not actually a moss, it's a liverwort. Uh, and there's some Christmas moss I think above it, but look how beautiful it is. Such a beautiful texture, really lush. In the background there you can see some uh, Rotala wallachii starting to go red at the tips. Rotala green on the left. Let's see what else we've got in here. Some Crips. Looks like it might be Petchii. Luca Philandras. All looking lovely. An immense carpet here. Of the Micranthum and Monte Carlo. And there's some Helanthium tanalum mixed in with it, although it's getting kind of smothered by the Monte Carlo. And then these really cool round leaf shaped plants, Hydrocotyle verticalata. Livestock wise, we've got some ember tetras, they're looking a bit shy right now, let's see if we can find them. So Steve's pulling up his massive bucket of water <laughs> and then will you slide it over to the tank? Yeah, yeah. on the top. Wow. Okay, so Steve's going to siphon a small quantity of water out into another one of his huge buckets. I've got to say Steve, this is quite an, un 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 orthodox method of water changing. There's <laughs> <laughs> massive buckets. It's a good job we've got a smooth floor. And got the uh, infamous Danale Cleanator. Love these. They're not particularly cheap, but they're very effective. They're really good at the removing their hard water marks. So, how often do you do this sort of maintenance, Steve? Once a week, twice Once a, week? a week? Once a week. This is your first proper aquascape, did you say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had tanks for a long time, but this is my first proper aquascape. Yeah. And you got the bug, and that's why you've got, yes. the, got these two. <laughs> I think this is a really good example of just regular maintenance. You're quite methodical, aren't you, Stevie? You've got quite a fairly strict schedule. You know when you're going to do it. You don't just wait for things to get bad. You, no, you, you do it regularly and stops them from getting bad, which we call preventative maintenance rather than corrective maintenance. So Steve's running the Twinstar 600S with the Twinstar Nano, which is a algae steriliser and oxygen producer. Do you think uh, the, the Twin Star Nano is effective? I like it, yeah. yeah. It's good. The only place I seem to get algae is actually it is on the thing itself. Yeah. What do you use to clean it? I just use a toothbrush. I have got the proper... It's like a citric acid solution yes, to clean the place. I have plates. got that, but I've never had to use it yet. Okay, that's interesting. The actual plate stays quite clean. All right. And the, the light you have on for eight hours? Eight hours, yeah. And you've got a special like third party ramping timer. Yes. Thing, right? Yes, it works well. There's a half hour sunrise and a half hour sunset. Can we have a look at that? So you program the time on there. Yes. And you can ramp it as well. Yeah, this is the pro version. So I mean it's only 15 pounds. That's and, awesome. And it just ramps up slowly yeah. over whatever time you want it to do. That's really cool because uh, the twin star normally is either on or off, right? Yes. Um, so you've got that just to, yeah. to get a more control. Yeah. Probably and better for the fish. Doesn't start with a fish, and that, yeah. especially in an open top tank. Yeah. If it's the E light, the standard, but the S light, you need a natural adapter that's about a pound or two. Okay. And where did you get this from? Uh, that was from Hinterfield. Okay. And the adapter is from a company called CPC. All right. 
you sell electronic type bits on, all on the internet. Okay. It'd be handy to get that, actually, get Twinstar to, to sell them with the devices. It'd be nice. It's, Twinstar's fantastic lights, but that's kind of what they should do in the first place. I think there's a big market for it, isn't uh, there? People don't just want to turn their lights on and off anymore. They want no. a bit more control, don't they? Yeah. Here's the Twinstar working its magic. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Even if you don't believe in the product itself, it does look really smart. And you deliberately position that under the, the lily pipe so you get the best sort of circulation. Mm -hmm. yes. You're quite happy to move the wood around when you're when you're maintaining. Yeah. You're not too kind of brutal with it. Yeah. No, just just you gently lift it. Yeah. So Steve, just turning the filter off the CO2, I guess as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, everything off. Ready apart from so. The right. we, Ready so we can drain the uh, water for the water change. Do you bother spraying the plants if they're in the air or do you just wait for it to be filled up again? If I'm doing main if I'm doing more maintenance, say pruning or cleaning out the filter as well, then yes, definitely. Do you normally change this much water, or is it a yeah, one you use? always this much. Yeah. Yeah. What's that, about? Um, 70 percent? Yeah, the more the better. Two thirds. Doing now, Steve, pumping the water from this mega bucket. What pump is it? It's a 1000 litre an hour. Okay. So it's not too fast, not too quick. So if that's using the magic, uh, you've got a yellow cleanser. <laughs> Do you use that? It's dechlorinated? You use yes. CKM Prime? Or? Yes, indeed, yeah. 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 Stuff. And this is hard tap water. Yeah, yeah, straight out of the tap. Yeah. CKM Prime. Yeah. Temperature? Uh, roughly matched to the tank just by yeah. hand. Yeah. Just using the mixer tap on your sink? Yes. Yeah. So this is a top tip for you guys. Steve's putting the outlet of his filter in a separate bucket and when he turns the filter on that just ensures that any rubbish that's kind of collected in the filter will go into the bucket rather than back into the nice clean tank. Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Steve just topping up the last bit of water and that's it guys, maintenance done really, just wipe the glass and then I'll get some b-roll footage for you. Thank you.
goodbye.